So I'm in this section of the garden and this wisteria is really growing really well. And no bear, don't go there. I want to show you this huge hoverfly that has just landed here. It's really, really beautiful. Look at that. No, no, no. Oh! Dogs. Well, it went off. Or at least I got an image of it. <laughs> it's massive. Oh, look. And then we have these guys are mating. Oh, they've flown away again. Never mind. I'd say that was a blurry picture. But, um, yeah. I love how this yellow stuff has taken over the steps. I, I know, I know it's called something like, it's not mile a minute, but it's not busy Lizzie. It's uh, something like busy Jenny or something, but it's lovely. I love this yellow. So I've been uh, doing a lot of weeding here. And these three troughs I filled with lots of Bidens and some dahlias. I just kind of love the pop of yellow there. This is all looking really beautiful over here. Look at that. With a few daisies. I'm very pleased with how that's beginning to look. And as you can see, I sometimes do my weeding and abandon it. I've got to bring a wheelbarrow over here and pick it up. But these are steps. Here's steps up to my, my cultivated wildflower meadow. These are all growing really good. Purple sage. There, It's not purple sage. That's green sage. Purple sage is somewhere else. Look at this geranium. Isn't that such a fantastic color? So here it's got these lovely leaves. These dark leaves. This particular geranium. So yeah, that's this part of the garden. And loads of ferns in here. I'm gonna to have to take them out at some stage because there's so many, I wanna put them somewhere else. And they'll still be behind. And these primroses are about to go, the evening primroses, which the moths love. So there you go. And then we can go up here to my cultivated wildflower area. Look at that. Looking good. So full of pollinators everywhere. There's a bee right there. It's working away on things. Look at the tansies getting, look at the fox and cubs are coming in here. The Canterbury bells. This is the tansy. Tansy is a great insecticide if you have problems with ants inside. There's another, poly somebody's just landed there. So it's a, and here's some yarrow, St. John's wort, evening primrose, more tansies. Those um, valerians have skyrocketed. Look at how high they are, it's fantastic. So yeah, busy place of plants and so many different things I love. And some places I can't even walk through anymore. This is supposed to be the path right through here, but it's mad with daisies. So I have to step through, but look at the color of this here. That's so beautiful. More yarrows. Well, it's crazy with things. It's crazy, crazy, crazy with things. I'm loving it. All the different layers mixed up together. I'm not a very organized gardener. I like my bit of chaos, but that's what nature is. And these were self-sown. This is a self-sown lupin, which is a slug in the middle. So, yeah, it's looking good. I'm sighted. And there's other plants in there that are slowly maturing and will get bigger and bigger as time goes on. Like this, this lovely coppery thing will start rising up. 
And then these are gonna go blue soon. And the cat's mint is blooming. Lots of St. John's wort, some geums. I can hear there's a bee humming right there. Actually, look at that, several bees. Here's another of those purple things. So, all in all, a very crowded wildflower area. Full of stuff. Full, full of stuff. Another area of kind of wild geraniums and daisies and this plant goes like about 10 feet up. And it has some of the valerian here and more geraniums. But I planted these pots with nasturtiums and they've only just started blooming. That's how cold it's been. And then this hydrangea here. I love this hydrangea here. I've had it for, could be 15 or more years. And then this pink rose, you see this pink rose here. It has tendrils coming down. Last year they were really good. This year they're not so good. But it was lovely because the pink tendrils met the pink hydrangea. It was lovely. And finally they're blooming.